Good morning from day two of our Christmas weekend trip. Today we're going to Magic Kingdom. Yes. And then later we're going to go to Hollywood Studios because Magic Kingdom closes early for the Christmas party tonight, which we're not going to. We did the Halloween party. Yes. We partied really hard, so, you know. Yeah, basically decided between the party versus Hollywood Studios for tonight and figured we wanted to see all four parks. I so. love Hollywood's decorations, too. Yeah. So, I really wanted to go see Hollywood Studios, so... Yeah. We're not going to the party. Right. We're going to Magic Kingdom today to see what there is to see. Yeah, and maybe check out the gingerbread displays at Grand Floridian, maybe the Contemporary as well. So, let's head over to Magic Kingdom. So just finished up our day at Magic Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Very full day, already four o'clock. So packed day, full day. Park closes here in just a couple hours for the party. So we are heading to Hollywood right now, but we did see quite a bit of the Christmas decorations and we saw Carousel Progress, but the Christmas scene at the end. Yeah. And we did the- We did the Speedway. Speedway, yeah. Cause they have their Christmas overlay um obviously no no lights on because it's not dark yet uh but still got to see all like the trees and ornaments and whatnot so i'll put clips of that right here I apologize about that. That was me attempting to drive, and I blame the little go kart thing. Yeah, it was pretty bumpy, but very fun. And then we tried to snack, got a holiday snack. Mm -hmm. I forget what it was called, but it was the the chai caramel free. So it was a salted caramel tea Lucky slush thing. drink, uh, kind of like a blended drink um, with a chai whipped cream. Pretty good. And have a chocolate reindeer on top. Yes. So very cute. It was good. It was like the texture was odd. Mm -hmm. I ex my brain was like a slushy for a latte. Yeah. But it was good. I don't know if it was like totally worth the price tag. No, it was seven ninety nine. So a bit high for just a drink. I don't know if I get it again. It was good. It was sweet. We shared it, so mm -hmm. it's big enough for more than one person. Yeah. But it was fairly expensive. But that was kind of the only holiday snack that we were interested in. That wasn't party specific here. Right, because so many things were party only. Yeah. Which is sad. Yeah. But then we left Magic Kingdom and went over to check out the gingerbread displays. So first up we went to the Contemporary Resort, which their display this year is Cinderella Castle, kind of a 50th theme with a Mickey and Minnie, so 
very, very cute, but very, very busy. So busy. The monorail line, I've never seen it that long. They had to like go all the way down and then come, come back a little bit. So Blind and everything. That was insane. And then from there, we went to the Grand Floridian which was as bad or worse yeah i would say it was was pretty pretty bad a uh, little worse than contemporary uh, but they had photo pass photographers in there taking pictures in front of the tree and in front of the uh, gingerbread house itself and of course selling the snacks inside the gingerbread house but very pretty display as always seems like the same one as last year yeah but yeah so that did it for our kind of first half of the day well, then we walked to the Poly. Yes. Ate a little bit, which was also busy. Yes. Everywhere's just busy right now. And then we walked to the TTC and then rode the tram to the car. Yeah. And I'm like, already almost 13,000 steps in for the day. It's only four o'clock. It's only four. So and we have lots more to do. Yes. So on that note, let's head to our second part for the day. So over to Hollywood Studios to check out all of their Christmas decorations.
back in the car. That will do it for our day at Hollywood Studios. Half day at Hollywood Studios. Um, very nice. Christmas decorations are lovely as always. Very retro. I love the retro nostalgic feel of Hollywood Studios at Christmas time. Yeah. One of my favorites. Indeed. And we got to see all of the projections on Tower of Terror, which was fun. Mm -hmm. A whole show. Yeah. Very different from the past couple of years when they just did the projections and did one projection every 15 minutes or so. This was a 10 minute show. With lasers and everything. Yeah, lasers. There was a screen showing a um, little story before the projections. and Like yeah. a Christmas card to kind yeah. of set up what you were about to see. Exactly. So very, very fun, very cute. But yeah. And it snowed. And it did snow. It snowed right on Sunset Boulevard. So even though we didn't go to the Christmas party this year, we still got our snope fix. Right. Indeed. But very tired, long day. Mm -hmm. So that will do it for us today. Tomorrow for us, next week for the video, will be Animal Kingdom to Ooh. round out our trip. Um, and a reminder, I think, because this one's going to be posted just before Christmas, Christmas Day, I'll be posting the full show of Candlelit Processional from our experience yesterday. So be with sure. With who narrating? With Josh Gann, Olaf himself. What? So be sure to tune in for that. But that will do it for us today. So thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. See you real soon.